That's right. Yes. And then they were yeah. asking, and this back just released came back at a 200, 197 yeah. to 200 to 205, somewhere around there. So depending on where you're going to roll it on the bat, depending on what kind of compression you're going to get on the Exactly. You can turn it and get all different kinds of, you know, numbers. But what we're getting, Jeff, is I, I don't know if people are concerned about that, but they don't need to be. So people, no. are going, people are going, and and I think what they're doing is they're taking other bat companies and trying to say that it's the same with us. And I just want to tell them that the Kevlar is doing, uh, this bat's not going to get, it's not going to lose compression early. Like it does have no. a life to it. Every bat has a life to it, right? So, oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. for sure. And what, what we get with this bat is when we're working with Kevlar, is you know you're going to get that 200 compression and then it's going to drop it's going to stay within 190 175 for a long time and then then it's going to go down a little bit more but what we're getting that i never got with any other bat out there is that compression at 160 is not like the compression with any other bat at 160 because of the kevlar no it it's it, it really it's a different material. So why would it act the same? Why would you compare it to other materials when it's not the same? That, I mean, if you buy different types of cars, they're gonna, they're gonna be different. And, and, uh, yeah, you can't really look at the compression. You have, you need to find out what the Kevlar numbers are right for you. If you can, 